Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. This actually came in the same box as uh, the other two recent tools for Gents Knives or Midyard's Master Knives that I un unboxed. I think it was the Viking and Mini Viking. But I thought, I don't want to cram too much of that into one video, so I'm going to save this one, whatever it is, for its own separate video. Um, I will link this right down below if it's available. I'll make sure that it's linked right down below so you guys can check it out, obviously, at Tools for Gents. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that is entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Um, and thank you to uh, Tools for Gents for sending whatever this is in. It's a fairly heavy package. So, what do we have? We have a totally unmarked pouch. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's just find out. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, what I'm trying to do is physically, emotionally, and mentally weather uh, the rush of absolute euphoric happiness that has just washed over my person. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh my. God, no way. Oh, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. This is, oh, here's the name of this. Here's the name of this. Are you ready? Oh my God. <laughs> what is this? What world do we live in? Oh my God. What, what? Oh my God. I, I literally cannot come up with the appropriate name for this, right? This is so freaking cool, man. Oh my goodness. How absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh man. Not much of a puncture tip, I'll say that. However, it has uh, it, it drops quite a ways. I think this is a record, the tallest blade I have ever seen. You know it'll slice. You know uh, it will if you if you want it to, right? Oh man, this is absolutely crazy. Tallest blade, tallest overall. Probably not gonna be. You know the most. Um, disappear in your pocket style knife. I cannot believe that it actually flips. That is just so crazy. It's got a spidey hole, but you really have to, as you could imagine, you really got to lift. Uh, it has the over travel. <laughs> it's, I'm just imagining my, before I even say it, I'm, I'm going over in my head the stuff that I, the, the regular critique process that I have to apply to this, which just sounds comedic, right? Now, there's going to be a boatload of people where the joke is going to go totally over their head, right? Because it is not, in their world, it's not possible for somebody to design and create a pocket knife just for fun. There needs to be a purpose uh, for it, and that purpose, if, if it can't exist in their mind, then they have to critique it as if it was meant for a specific purpose and is failing, uh, no, let me simplify it for you. This funny haha -ha object, right? Haha. -ha. Ha it exists. Haha. -ha. That is literally as simple as it is. Um they uh uh the designer um was going for shock and awe, right? And then ultimately I I truly believe humor, right? Now could you take this out and use it? Well sure, but it's just gonna be inconvenient versus a regular knife. This is really really fun though. Um, but these are the types of things that just make me go, man, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that there are people out there in this world making stuff like this because otherwise we would be sitting here in piles and piles of Openel number eights 
and Buck 110s and Milwaukee Fastbacks. It just sounds like a terrible, like imagine, you know, you accidentally, you know, you, you no clip through reality, whoops, and you go to like the Openel and Buck 110 universe where we just never, we were like, this is all, this is practical and this is, uh, that's all we needed. You know, it's a practical economic tool and just every citizen is, uh, you know, here you go. Here's your birth certificate and here's your uh, complimentary uh, Buck 110. Uh, and then you just go through life. Can you imagine? Like, that's just where where you live. I'd be like, no, take me back. Please get me out of here. That's awful, right? Um, take me back to the universe where the folding battle shovels exist. That is where I want to be. Um, this is wonderful. I would imagine this is a prototype. And it is very unlikely that I get to keep this. Uh, but I can tell you right now um, that uh, I, I will have one of these. Uh, you know, I will, whoever I need to pay, tools for gents, whoever I need to pay, I want one of these, please. I want to have this in my life. This needs to be a part of my life. This is an absolutely ridiculous object. Let's, let's go ahead and take a look here at everything. Oh, the pivot, you know, why didn't they do torques on the pit? It's like, it's funny now that I'm not saying this thing is beyond, you know, critiques. It's not, but it's also kind of humorous, right? Pretty nice finish on the titanium. Honestly, there's a nice uh, kind of, it's still matte. I'm getting my fingerprints off of it. Uh, it's still like low reflectivity matte, but it, it does look good. Um, the housing for the hardware is great. And they also chose the larger size fasteners. Backspacer here, a little bit of crud in there. But again, this is, I'm sure, a prototype, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at that pocket clip. Good Lord. There's, a, there's quite a bit of titanium just in the pocket clip. They did... I would say I was going to say they milled it out for weight reduction, but um, no, uh, I think it's just like the holes, right? Which why not go crazy, right? Tactical speed holes, sure. Absolutely no idea what the blade is made out of. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> the blade is it's just ridiculous, man. Oh man, that is just really crazy. <laughs> You you do have to get some leverage on it, right? I mean, because you're... Can I push button it? Yeah, you can. I don't know if I can push button it straight up, though. Let's try that. Yeah, we <laughs> somehow got it. Um, okay, right off the bat, just, you know, for, to the designer, this ledge right here, a little bit sharp. We need a continuous, not a drop and then a scallop. We need a continuous soft scallop in there. One big spoon, spoon dip, right? Just ima imagine a dollop of Daisy. Can, I probably can't say that, right? Do a dollop. What's a dollop? A dollop? Just a scoop, right? And a scoop of avoc avocado is what we need there. Um, but uh, yeah, boy, this is uh, <laughs> oh, that's <is> freaking wild, man. <laughs> uh, this is a part. This is the, this is the kind of stuff that makes doing this. Uh, more fun, right? I love looking at knives of all different types, but obviously there are certain things that get me more more or less riled up. So here you go, this freaking thing. All right, this is just an unboxing and first impressions. I know you know what I know. You guys want to know how? Let, let's measure it. Let's measure it here real quick. Nine and a quarter inches, tip to butt. Three point nine inch blade. Four inches of cutting edge, though. I mean, now, you know what? That's not true. It's four inches of blade. And then, realistically, we have three point... Because I can't do it diagonally. We've got 3.75 inches of cutting edge. And then the weight... I, it's, I know it's going to be heavy, but I, it's also... I don't think it's going to be quite as much as people think. My guess is that this weighs 10 ounces. Oh, no, it's more than that. Okay, 11.7, so it weighs almost 12 ounces, right? Big boy. Blade stock thickness, I bet you anything. It's, it's uh, probably close to a quarter of an inch, probably not exactly the same, I, but I bet it's close. This literally will not fit. I do not have a container that this would fit. I would need to. I would need a custom container for this. 
Yeah, 232 thousandths. What a freaking beast, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's just, I don't even know what to mock call it, right? Unbel it's just, uh, it's like <laughs> Optimus Prime Toe. Jeez, man. Optimus Prime's toenail. Um, this is insane. Expect a full comprehensive video of this knife down the road. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.